and welcome to our program Coffee Break with the Ambassador. I'm Donny Kusman Haji. Today we are going to meet the Ambassador of South Korea to Indonesia, His Excellency Kim Chang Byung, and we are going to discuss about the relation between the two countries, the two peoples, but also how Korea has been an inspiration also to Indonesia. Find out. The Republic of Korea is a country in East Asia constituting the southern part of the Korean Peninsula and lying east to the Asian mainland. It comprises an estimated 51.4 million residents distributed over 99.392 square kilometers. The capital and the largest city is Seoul with a population of 10 million. Indonesia and South Korea share a common vision, values, and the will to contribute to the international community as middle powers. In the past, the relations were only developed around trade and investments. Today, the cooperation has expanded to a number of mega projects and advanced industries. Korean pop culture has also inspired Indonesian artists and has become one of the most popular foreign cultures in Indonesia. Selamat pagi. Selamat ya, pagi. Sik, uh, apa kabar? Baik, baik. Uh, selamat, Terima kasih. Selamat datang. Thank you. Yeah. It's a very nice house. Thank you so much. Terima kasih <laughs> banyak. <Yes. laughs> your Excellency, once again, thank you for your time. And we are going to have a long chat on the <laughs> bilateral relations between Indonesia and Korea, but also on the peoples of both nations. This right. is very important. Excellency, you know, speaking about Indonesia and Korea, South Korea has been uh, the top five mm -hmm. uh, trading partner with Indonesia with um, a trade volume around $20 billion oh, right, now. Yes. And also both nations are gathered at the G20 together. And also other forums mm -hmm. like Asian Plus. Right. Where is this now going? I think this uh, Indonesia and Korea are standing on an excellent foundation. Uh, both countries are natural partners. We are sharing common values, market economy, democracy, rule of law, and civic liberty. And also I think there's one commonality that Indonesians and Koreans are sharing is the family values. Uh, and also I think there's uh, one of the uh, key elements that uh, bind Korea and Indonesia together is Gotong Royong. Gotong Royong. Yeah, it's a spirit of working together. In harmony. Teamwork. Teamwork. Ever since the first diplomatic relations uh, were established, the path of our joint journey of Indonesia and Korea for future has been steadily and steadfastly going up and up. November last year, he made an agreement with President Jokowi to upgrade the status of the partnership from special partners, uh, strategic partnership to special strategic partnership. It's a one great elevation uh, from a strategic partnership. Exactly. What's the difference yeah. between the previous Where are the beef? <laughs> yeah. In ASEAN countries, ASEAN 10 countries, Indonesia is one and only. And also the people-to-people -people exchange have grown up. We have annually about last year about 30, uh, 340, uh, 100 Koreans, uh, no, 340,000 Koreans have visited, and Indonesians to visit Korea, it's about 270,000 Indonesians have visited Korea, and the rate of growth increase is very sharp. Last year alone, is, we have witnessed about 8% growth of people-to-people -people exchange. But then again, 
uh, as you mentioned, on, on other aspects like um, the number of Koreans visiting Indonesia and vice versa. This has been affected through uh, uh, another channel here, right. another link, which is um, a successful growth by the Korean government on um, soft diplomacy, right. cultural diplomacy. And it's been successful, very successful, especially in Indonesia. Uh, if we look nowadays, our youth and our kids, they watch uh, Korean movies, yes. they listen to Korean songs, <laughs> and Korean clothing right. as trend. How do you see this? Well, that's, uh, thank you uh, so much for your very warm comments. I think that Indonesians and Koreans are sharing common kind of the perception of each other's cultures. So they feel close. K-Wave, Korean Wave, Hallyu, have been uh, well received by the Indonesian people, especially youngsters. And uh, I think that's uh, the, uh, one of the key elements that kind of uh, cement these two people in both our countries. I think there's a uh, kind of the Indonesians and Koreans are all fun loving. They love to sing. That's right. They love to enjoy whatever kind of the uh, environments they are faced with. Also, they are all positive. I think there's a slow look positive. And uh, we have uh, set up our own Korean cultural center in at, Jakarta, in Jakarta at the heart of Jakarta. And also, uh, we are particularly uh, reaching out to uh, universities, campuses, and high schools, and uh, public institutions uh, for public diplomacy activities. And also, I think there's uh, more and more uh, Indonesians are learning Bahasa Korean. And vice versa, I think there's uh, Increasingly, Korean youngsters are now in love with Indonesian cuisines. Oh, really? Yeah, Indonesian batik. More of the Korean companies are now uh, advancing into Indonesia. So more opportunities are uh, in job markets mm -hmm. when they are learning Bahasa Indonesia. True. Then yeah. they are easily be uh, picked up by the uh, big uh, business groups. Uh, I think that's uh, another opportunity for them. Excellency, um, what's behind the success of uh, Korea in promoting its culture, music, through, through films and through dramas? So I think there's a one uh, primary important uh, factor might be deregulation on the part of the government to make industries, industrial players, enjoy more freedom and more access and less regulation, less See. censorship and less kind of the rigidness in dealing with topics, dealing with uh, this uh, kind of the scenarios. I think that's one thing. And another one is the collaboration uh, with global players. I think that's a uh, combination or combined with the high-tech industries. Oh, yeah. Because now film, drama, and even the uh, uh, making music videos, the all based upon high tech, high technologies inputs. The uh, Korean entertainment industry has been very skillfully advanced in utilizing those kind of the new trend of social media based kind of the tools. But the way you explain it uh, throughout the 20 years that uh, the government and the industry has been um, um, working together in creating this. I think the process of trial and error was more dominated by success. <laughs> <laughs> so, Your Excellency, uh, speaking about being creative, I heard that you are an excellent uh, pen and ink No, no, no. It's, uh, it's, how how did you know my hobby? This, uh, it's a hobby. <laughs> oh, yeah, just hobby. It's, uh, it's uh, more like an uh, amateur. But I, I do like uh, Sukama Lukis. But, uh, it's, uh, I don't have enough time uh, to spend for my just personal uh, drawing, but uh, maybe this, uh, we could have a just cup of ginseng oh, tea yes, uh, before moving please. to this uh, my place. Uh, this Korea is known to be negara ginseng in Indonesia, mm, true. right? Yeah, uh, that's ginseng what is say. good for health, so it smells nice. Yeah. Very good. So it's 
<laughs> giving you a bit of warmed up spirit. Yeah. yeah. And more energy. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we? Oh, sure, yes. I can't okay, wait. Let me show you. This way? Yeah, sure. Okay. This is my place. Uh, it's a secret place. Uh, it's a secret place. <laughs> enjoy uh, my drawing and sometimes reading the books. Also, I have see. a cup of tea uh, with my wife as well. Yes. This is your meditation room. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very quiet. Very uh, please uh, take a seat. Yes. Thank you. Select and dinner. So, this is your drawing. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I'm, I'm still, uh, I haven't finished it up actually. This, uh, I should uh, finish up uh, during the weekend, but I haven't finish up yet, but it's just kind of the very uh, uh, poor uh, in sketching this. I, I do just but no, as, a, as a killing time, just so uh, you could just... I pretty much uh, love it. Yeah. That's this is Monas and then this uh, a bit cloudy day, this... Uh, mm -hmm. just. Mm -hmm. So have you... Um, specifically learn on drawing? No, it's, I was uh, uh, learning this uh, painting at, uh, in my high school days ah, I that see. I uh, almost uh, stopped uh, painting during my university years because it was too busy. Of course. And then uh, from time to time uh, I just uh, draw some portraits. This is my... Oh, yeah, this okay. Is, uh, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs? Yeah. It's, it's, it looks a bit... Okay, yeah. it's similar, yes. I think okay. I like the way you draw the glasses. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, this that's... is... Uh, I just uh, took one photo uh, while I was visiting Bali. And this is... You know who he is? That's our press. <laughs> of course, of course. Does he know that you have been drawing? No, 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 no. <laughs> he would be this, glad. It. I, I think he would uh, like it. So, as I see, I've seen these small little right, characters. Yeah. My back. I think this is. You know, uh, you usually notice that that they are taekwondo performers, right? Yeah. yeah yes. uh -huh. Have you ever tried uh, taekwondo before? This. Actually, I took taekwondo classes <laughs> when I was in high school, but oh, only for I a see. year. Uh, I only obtained the until the yellow. Uh, yellow one. <laughs> yellow ah, belt. Yeah. Right. Th these are all black belters. Yeah, yeah black belts. Yeah. Yeah, that was the now it's a. Uh, Taekwondo is uh, quite popular in Indonesia as well. Since years. Yeah, of course. Uh, the uh, upcoming Asian Games, mm -hmm. uh, Indonesian national Taekwondo team, I think that's, they will most probably will earn gold medals. We hope so. Yeah. We hope so. Playing at home. Oh, uh, and also I think <laughs> the, be a home the Indonesian uh, national Taekwondo team is now under training mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in Korea. In Korea. So, and mm -hmm. this is actually this typical uh, Korean wedding dolls ah, I see. for the wedding. This is okay. uh, a traditional Korean attire, Korean dress. This is a uh, man, uh, the, the, the groom and bride. All right. So we'll move to another place. This name is a uh, bibimbap. Bibimbap is a uh, bibimbap is a very popular is uh, in Korean dishes. Uh, yeah. True. Mm -hmm. I think that you have haven't tried this. Uh, of no. I, of course I have. You did. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. Also one of my favorite. If you haven't tried, you're not a Korean lover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the first Korean food that I've uh, I've tasted. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah. Oh. You could just. Uh, I, we you? have you uh, three. Just, uh, yeah. Take a seat. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Why not? Thank you. So, Madam, could you explain a bit on the ingredients? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a uh, name is a uh, bibimbap. It is very, uh, very popular in Korean dishes. Uh, ingredients is uh, normally we will use in uh, steamed vegetable and uh, beef, and uh, sometimes we use in uh, uh, seafood. Mm -hmm. And then today I prepare them in all um, in normal in vegetable and. Uh, 
Beautifully. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a side by side run. Mixed uh, with the uh, beef. And uh, I think that's a kind of combination of everything. It's mm -hmm. more like uh, Korean style nasi champu. Nasi champu. Nasi champu, yeah? That's good. But no goreng. No goreng. No goreng. No goreng. No goreng. Yeah. And we yeah. fry a lot. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 So actually, uh, not too healthy. Yeah. I like a fry and some <laughs> fat. <laughs> And then, and then we'll have to mix. Yeah? Sometimes I used to cook and uh, uh, combine, combine the Korean food mm -hmm. and with the Indonesian in uh, the cuisine. Oh, really? Yeah, and some you know, coconut milk and sambal sauce and yeah, sometimes I mm -hmm. use the mixture. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. What do you do in your leisure time, madam? Yeah, um, sometimes I play golf and Oh, you're a yeah, lady yeah, yeah, and visit to in the museum. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and so history is part of it. Yeah. yeah. Pardon? I come? Nice garden. Yes. I it's love the swimming pool. Lovely setting. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we we are almost like just arriving in Bali. <laughs> no, I, I feel like in Nusa Dua. <laughs> <laughs> so, Excellency, um, everybody's eyes in the world now drawing the attention to the peace process of North Korea and South Korea. And this is also, I think, the world considers it as good news. Right. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, uh, as you have said, I think that's uh, the, uh, every uh, country and every people in the world, world is now welcoming mm -hmm. very positive uh, development. It's very dramatic uh, transformation of the whole landscape this in is geopolitics. Korean drama at the highest level. <laughs> Maybe this yeah, uh, is eye-catching drama yeah. this, uh, on a global scale. Uh, the, uh, we are now witnessing uh, a new chapter mm -hmm. uh, in the whole uh, the history of the Korean Peninsula. Uh, as you have seen, uh, seen in the, uh, the rest of April 27th, uh, we have witnessed a very historic meeting yeah. between South, South Korean president and the North Korean leader, Chairman Kim Jong-un, for the first time in the southern side of the Korean Peninsula. Yeah, it came by surprise, right. actually. How, how did it come to this? So uh, you have seen the PyeongChang Winter Olympic Games. Of course. So and that was, that was actually the way it started. Right. It's a kind of a catalyst. Last year, the mood was completely different, very tense and serious. But nowadays, especially I think this, uh, you have seen the uh, opening ceremony of the PyeongChang Winter Olympic Games. We have seen a very touching moment. Mm -hmm. South and North Korean athletes jointly marched together yes. at the opening ceremony. And then finally, they have sent a special envoy to the opening game of the opening ceremony of the uh, PyeongChang Winter Olympic Games. And also we have sent out our special envoy to North Korea. And those, through those shuttle diplomacy, we have succeeded in organizing this historic summit. Uh, Indonesia has been extending strong and very firm support. Our government is very committed to that. Right. Uh, I met with the President Jokowi, together with the North Korean ambassador, for the first time at Istana Merdeka. And uh, President Jokowi personally uh, extended very warm congratulations. Historical moment, not only uh, there in Korea, but also here in Jakarta. Right, indeed. I think there's also, it is uh, another step forward for the stability and peace on the whole Northeast Asia and perhaps Asia as a whole. Where we are at right now, how do you see where this is going to go? I think this is uh, uh, the one step forward, but still a new beginning. It is. We have to keep this momentum alive because peace cannot be achieved overnight. True. It's, we have to build up mutual trust and confidence. And I think I, that shows our strong commitment right. to the peace process. Indeed. Yes, I think there's a, a kind of the demonstration of strong commitment on the part of the Indonesia and the people of Indonesia to further promote peace and prosperity on the Korean Peninsula. So Asian Games in Jakarta, uh, now in August, yes. uh, will it also be a stage of the peace process as well? Indeed, because uh, President Jokowi has mentioned uh, to us that uh, Indonesia is well prepared to extend assistance 
whatever system to uh, both South and North Korea for their joint participation into the Asian Games and to be meeting with Indonesian players at the final. Of course. Hopefully at badminton <laughs> or table tennis or, or taekwondo. Or taekwondo, yes. <laughs> your Excellency, thank you so much for your time today. I've enjoyed the tour uh, to the house and mm -hmm. also lunch, of course. And thank you also to South Korea for being an inspiration to the world through the peace process between uh, the two nations. And also we hope to see you again sometime soon to follow up on the peace process. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Padoni. It's, uh, it's a great honor and also a personal delight to have you. I think this Indonesia and Korea are working together for the future. I think this, uh, we are uh, already on a good track, but I think this, uh, we are probably moving on the better track and possibly to create much brighter future for the two countries. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Until we meet again. Yes. All right. And that was our interview with the ambassador of South Korea to Indonesia, His Excellency Kim Chang Byung. And we found out a lot about the key of success of Korea with its soft diplomacy and also creative economy. Until we meet again, thank you.